think you've seen a shift in in philosophy and in a lot. I won't call it a younger generation of coaches, but you saw the uh, maybe the compassion. You know, you wouldn't see Tom Osborne running the score like Lake Seastrunk is about to do. Right here. Can you say goodbye? Second play, bang! Touchdown, Baylor. <laughs> to finish the thought, you just got to run your offense, and at a certain point, you say, you know what? Both of these teams are scholarship playoff players, and one of them, sometimes you just got to make a play. If you don't want the score to be run up, then stop us. And that's what the philosophy of Baylor is. We're just going to continue to run our offense, and if you don't want to get wanted to get lopsided, well, then you know what? You better make the defensive stop. 75 yards. Seastrong now 10 carries for 157. That's nearly 16 yards a touch. For Lake Seastrong, Aaron Jones. The eyes down by a nice end as he touches it another three to the Well, we asked the question, and you know what? Our Browns answered it for us, as you mentioned. And, and they do it in so many ways. Watch Seastrunk with the speed to get outside, and then just flat out runs away from people. You know, we've heard so much about Lake Seastrunk at the start of this year that we just assumed he's been around for a while. But remember, he didn't come on for Baylor until about week seven through seven games last year the first seven games he only had 181 yards total in the last six games for baylor last year he averaged nearly 140 a game and had six touchdowns he has come on as of late and then you include the first three of this year where it's been over 100 each game he transferred out of oregon and when asked from the ducks why wasn't c strong still a duck Basically, maybe he ran out of patience because of this type of talent. He wanted to get on the football field. Yeah, there's a lot of 